Uh, in this video, I just have uh, some C++ code that I originally took from uh, develop the site. There was a previously, there was a, it seems to be gone now, uh, a develop the website, developed.com. And um, so I have some code that I picked up there and it just runs the estimation for black shoals. So I have some standard values here for black shoal parameter inputs and uh, it um, invokes black shoals uh, estimation uh, using our the usual d1 and d2 for the put value um, we use put call parity um, and I probably should just make one little change here so that the um, we can copy exp copy and just adjust we have to put in a dividend if we're calling up put call parity okay so let's paste and then put multiplication sign and then instead of r we have q and we would have t okay so the value of the put is equal to the value of the call um, exp is the exponential negative q times t plus the exercise multiplied by the exponential negative or the risk free rate by the maturity of the option <clears throat> and i just make a little note here that this is a put call parity and um, it's kind of relatively efficient way of estimating the put if we already know the value of the call and um, so <clears throat> Otherwise, uh, we use bool's rule to get um, to run the uh, n uh, function here. We're invoking uh, bool's rule, so there's some code there. Again, that's taken from originally developed the site, and otherwise uh, we can just run the estimation. So 1045, and that's a an estimation. These are that's a value that I'm aware of. We can do another little check. So um, I could put in a, a value here for Q and um, let's put just a check 0 0.05 okay and just run that again and the value we get here is 10.4506 and let's see okay so one little issue here we have to obviously 10.4506 is not correct um, shouldn't be the same if I change the dividend yields, but I should have put in Q here for D1. And um, let's try that and see what value we come up with. Okay, and run it again. And we get 1020, still not there. Let's check again our code. Uh, we've adjusted for the put. We've. Um, okay, so the. The value for for dividend also should be incorporated in here. Open bracket negative Q by T and multiplied by N D one. So multiply and try now. And seven fifty seven. Now that looks uh correct and how I I might have some insight there is because if we have set these values a black shoals estimation up in Excel and we can just compare our values if we change the dividend to five percent and run we get seven five seven 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 five seven seven so let's go back into seven five seven seven and that's the same result here um, and one final check then we might introduce is change the value here to p delete and just run that now whatever i put there it will produce a put value so seven seven five seven seven okay let's go back and do a little check here if we change the value okay that's for the call um, Let's look for the put. So 
So we just uh, come below here and we again we have the same values like parameter inputs for black shows repeated. Uh, but I have Q here for dividend yield. The value of the call is uh, 757.7. The value of the pot also 757.7. So when we have the same risk free rate and dividend yield, uh, the Black Scholes call and the Black Scholes put have equal value. Uh, the put option here we can obtain by just looking at this uh, formula here. If we double click on the formula, we can see that uh, C43 is equal to X, E negative RT, E negative R, C44 is R, T is equal to C46, so that's one year, minus S, S is C42, C42, uh, E negative QT, so the exponential E C45 is Q by T40 C46, and then C55 is N negative D1, and C56, C56 is equal to, uh, C56 is equal to N negative D2. Okay, so we get a pot, and because the value of the risk free rate and the dividend are the same the value of the call and the pot are the same as well and um, if we change this to zero four of course we get different numbers that's the value of our call that's the value of our pot we can go back into um the c plus um, plus estimation here change this back to four and run again and we'll observe that the value that we get here for the put option will be equal to 714. We can just copy that, copy, go back into Excel, and we can just paste underneath to make sure, paste, and put some, so 714664, 714664. Last thing we might show is that the uh, put call parity um, is equal to now if we go f if we use the relationship we set out in the code just go back into the C++ compiler and we had this relationship so we basically said that the value of the call option the value of the put option is equal to the value of the call and we m subtract from that S E negative Q T plus K E negative R by T so let's just prove that that actually holds. So we come back in here. We'll just paste above here the value. So we can say the put, the put, P U T is equal to, is equal to the value of the call. Okay. So we'll just follow that. The put is equal to the value of the call minus S. S is the 100 multiply multiply exp open bracket negative q so we have to put in the value of q the value of q here is 0 0.04 multiplied by t t is the time period or the maturity of the option and then we add the exercise so i'm just following here we add the exercise so plus and then we put in k and then we multiply k following again from here exp exp open bracket negative the risk free rate to 0 0.05 and again the time period is the maturity of the option and we close that out and we should get it the same result so whether we use put call parity um or we use um the black schultz model the black schultz model is this one here we we get exactly the same result. Just do one little more test here with the online compiler. Um, we could put in a value here of uh, 3%, delete, 3, run again. And for the put option, the value of the put is 6, 7. So we can just copy that, copy. The value of the put option, 6, 7, 3, 0, 9, 2. Let's go back into Excel and verify the result. We can just put it here, paste, and six seven three okay and remember we just reduce the dividend by 
1% to 3%. And again, we recovered the same values here. So using put call parity, we've demonstrated, we've demonstrated that the value of the call and the value of the put must observe um, no arbitrage relationship, so put call parity, which we refer to as put call uh, parity.